Andy Reid, the first thing he said was, kid needs a lot of work. But why you trade up to get him to wait on him? I didn't believe in the system, the passing system that they have in the Big 12. Guys have not been successful with that transition to the NFL from the very beginning. Patrick Mahomes shock at a very own from the start first. He shock at those calling the NFL draft in 2017 Wien a team that already had a solid yet consistent quarterback traded up for him then. He shocked the coaches and teammates of his own home team when he stepped foot onto a practice field. Then in his very first game, he shocked at opposing defenses, analysts, and fantasy football players. Today, he still shocks all of us. As we wonder how did Patrick Mahomes do that? What's going on, guys? Your boy Mike here. And today, we're going to talk about what NFL players had coaches and analysts thought about the strengths and talent land prior to the time that he got drafted before we jetto the content. I just wanted to let you guys know that we're giving away a PlayStation 5 to a member of Mike Mafia that subscribed and turned on our notifications. Whether you're an old subscriber or a new subscribe, or if you subscribed and hit that notification bell at some point in your life and still have it turned on, then you have been heard for a chance to win a PS5. If you want additional entries, then just follow him on Instagram and Twitter. Now that we get all that out of the way, 2017 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs moved up, giving up their third round pick and their first round pick the year after to make sure that they were able to draft the quarterback that he wanted. This deal was made to ensure that their first round draft position will be the 10th overall pick, who was so important to them that such a significant move was needed. The Kansas City Chiefs had heart ties over a literal gunslinger quarterback out of Texas Tech University, a quarterback that didn't have a winning season but put up monster numbers in college. However, Noon knew if he could take those big numbers and replicate it in the NFL, the Chiefs pick was more than an athlete a man who could have just as easily played professional baseball as opposite football. He had a 96 mile per hour fast ball into a father who had spent severe seasons in Major League Baseball as a pitcher, Patrick Mahomes. However, was beyond blessed in hand, filling the pickskin and reading the defense, rank it third in passing yards, touchdown passes, and passing attempts to go along with past completions, and also second in touchdown. Rest on Sybil for third and career yards of total offense as well as career attempts in college. Those numbers are super impressive. But what did everyone really think and say about Patrick Mahomes before he became the Patrick Mahomes we see today before he took over as the number one quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs before he became league MVP in his first full year in her center and before he became therapist quarterback in NFL history and before he won a Super Bowl in April 24, 2012, two days before the NFL draft by a conference call. Mel Kuyper had this to say he can sling it. He has a heck of an arm. He's adept at throwing deep ball. He can move around. He has free underrated mobility. He has no conscience about him. I always say you can fear interceptions. You can't fear making mistakes. The only way to make big plays is by taking some chances downfield. The dinking and dunking Max Usyk. The way he plays this invigorating Mel Piper is infamously blasted. Eh? Or being wrong most of the to me especially when it comes to breaking down quarterbacks and predicting their spot in the draft order. I'm guessing one off the two is your number one who do Houston take him gonna go with Johnny Manziel with the 22nd pick. Johnny Manziel however this time Mel Piper's desperate of Patrick Mahomes was probably the best out of all of our quotes prior to the 2017 NFL draft. On contrary, the majority of other draft analysts didn't see Mahomes going as shy as he went, and with more than one calling him a combination of a Jay Kittler with a Johnny Manziel, all of these expert predictors except for Mel Kuyper were all in agreement that Mahomes' numbers were inflated because of Texas Tech spread offense, and the fact that he was a quarterback that operated solely out of the shotgun. He could be a boom or a bust, just like another quarterback that was drafted out of Texas not too long ago in Johnny Manziel. However, Patrick Mahomes was created differently not many sight back then, but it is obvious today he has a head on his shoulders and is able to make sound decisions. Even though Mahomes was not getting the best reviews prior to the most important day of his life, he kept this composure and like the good student is gave all the right answers before the draft. But a secret that nobody knew was the fact that Patrick had nothing to worry about as Chiefs general manager Jan Dorsey assistant GM at the time Brett Beach and head coach Andy Reid had a cute kid zero aimed only for Mahomes. I think there's some talented athletes within this so with this class, I think they have different skill sets, but are either some quarterbacks who have enough traits and skills to be developed down road. Yeah, there sure is. At the time, Mahomes was trying to improve his draft stock. So in those combined and pre-draft interviews, when Mahomes spoke directly to coaches and general managers and others who may be considered skeptic, CS used his brains to deflect the negative attention. He was a Big 12 Scholar Athlete of the Year after all. A just am just showing my knowledge for thegamy. I mean, that's all. I can't prove it wrong. I mean, if you look at back at the system quarterback, a lot of guys didn't work out. So me for me, it's just gonna boot proving those guys wrong. I mean, going 
getting out there really showing Mick knowledge for game and just competent and I mean we'll all show up when you get to the field during Patrick Mahomes Pro Day at Texas Tech. There was only two general managers that showed up, one Washington Lynch from the 49ers, and one waste Seattle Seahawks, the Giants head coach, and three quarterback coaches were the only other NFL front officer representatives that showed for Mahomes Pro Day at Texas Tech. Granted, it's nearly impossible to find a direct flight into Lubbock, Texas, where Texas Tech is located. And it is literally in the middle of nowhere way out in West Texas. In fact, it has over a five-hour drive just to get there from Dallas-Fort Worth. Perhaps other teams who were interested in him like Kansas City decided to watch the film as opposed to see him in person. However, it seemed like there weren't really that many NFL teams that were really interested in the future NFL MVP in an NFL Network segment or capping Mahomes' pro day. It was mostly positive highlights and optimistic talk. But you could get these ins that again, there were still men and non-believers at the end of the PC. The NFL analyst quoted in regarding Mahomes, what's the best case scenario? Well, best case scenario is he plays behind a quality starter for a year or two of veteran New Orleans, Arizona, one off those situations at the end of the day. I think he's a thrower, not a passer, which is funny because looking back at the comment, Patrick Mahomes in 43 and Flames so far has 13,227 passing yards and 107 touchdowns. There was not a lack of content or conversation around Patrick Mahomes prior to the 2017 NFL draft, but it seemed as though no one really predicted star that Mahomes would turn out to in an NFL Network segment hosted by a former college quarterback and former NFL head coach Steve Mariucci. He didn't seem all that impressed. And this segment that aired prior to the 2017 draft, although he was invited to participate, Patrick Mahomes was not in Mariucci's top two quarterbacks in the draft. He actually had B. Sean Kaiser and Mitchell Trubisky as the top two best available quarterbacks. As a matter of fact, Mariucci didn't even expect to see Mahomes to go in the first couple rounds off the NFL draft. His evaluation off Mahomes was casting him off into a group of quarterbacks that Mariucci thought had be looking to prove that they could play on Sunday. Mariucci implied quite suggestively that Mahomes wouldn't be at the top of the draft board at all. Patrick Mahomes can sling it now. It's not pretty. He'll throw it sidearm. He'll throw it any which way. He hasn't set his feet yet. But this kid is exciting, I like him a lot nice kid, and he's an exciting gee, and somebody's gonna you know corral this guy and get him a little bit more compact and more predictable and and teach fundamentals with him, but he she's the guy that likes to improvise he likes to get out of the pocket, he's he's a man he's fun to watch, he lump had Mahomes in with Davis Webb from Cal and Brad Kaya from the University of Miami referring to all three of them as middle round quarterbacks Webb who actually transferred from Texas Tech after losing starting spot to Mahomes was drafted in the third round and Kyle Kaya was drafted in the sixth round. Both Webb and Kyrie no longer quarterbacks in the NFL NFL Network's Lancer line set of Mahomes before the draft. Mahomes is a big, confident quarterback who brings a variety of physical tools to the party, but he's developed some bad habits and do's and have a very repeatable process as a passer. Mahomes' ability to improvise and extend plays can lead to big plays for his offense, but he will have to prove that he can operate with better anticipation and be willing to take what the defense gives him in or dare to win from the pocket. Mahomes will be a work in progress, but he has a high ceiling, and he's a very, very low floor prospect once again. That comparison sounded more like Jay Cutler than the Mahomes we see today. Mahomes has clearly proven that he can win from inside the pocket and outside of the pocket as well. Prior to the draft, Mahomes was actually asked about his thoughts on Kansas City to be a Chiefs reporter during the company, and again, he had all the right answers. I am scheduled to meet with Kansas City, and I have actually met with Kansas City. Ra. 80. I mean, I know he's definitely a great quarterback coach. He's had the great quarterback quarterback Don McNabb and a name of one of the guys, I mean Alex Smith's a great quarterback right now and night something it's also it would be awesome to be under him and how he teaches quarterbacks and I'm excited to meet with all these teams little did he know that 85 days later those Chiefs who are so good at developing quarterbacks will trade up for him so why didn't any other team show more interest in Patrick Mahomes although most teams never want to admit their mistakes and probably wouldn't dare to speak to the media about missing out on Mahomes one head coach did Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers head coach told NFL.com just before the Super Bowl the reason why the 49ers didn't end up selecting my homes. I didn't look into them obviously as much as I should have him. I think it was. I mean we definitely lucked into him. Studied all his tape. Watch us a freak that could make any throw him. Had the ability to do anything. My dad was a little bit different situation for us. We had the second pick in the draft. Did not feel like from all the intel you get and stuff that he was going to golf that high. I wondered if the 2017 NFL draft ever entered Shanahan's mind when was on the sideline 
headlines and my Annie watching Patrick Mahomes sorcery call me Elif because the Kansas City Chiefs would run down the field for three ditch down drives in the final six minutes and 32 seconds of the Super Bowl against his 49ers. But in Kyle Shanahan's defense, Patrick Mahomes was considered to be a player that was reached on by Kansas City Chiefs. He was supposed to be a late first round draft pick, but Chiefs couldn't risk losing him to another team. And they ended up making Avery a good decision and wheeling and dealing from the homes. Although it was Avery aggressive one, Brad Beach, a very young and inexperienced general manager prior to the 2017 NFL draft, had seen him in action at T Texas Tech and continuously kept showing Andy Reid film while at the same time lamenting on his skills and he's fit for their organization. It didn't take Reid much time at all to be sold on Mahomes after he put on a practice uniform. I, I felt pretty confident that we had a player that was good. And then I had a chance to look at him and and talk to him and all you need is five minutes with a kid, you know what he's about tried, he's solid, and then he comes on board and he he does everything you ask him to do, he doesn't try to trump Alex Smith right and that could be sticky, you know that though that goes right out both of them and leech other, but the things that Alex taught him about being a pro and then he put that into use, we had Aikens kind of a dress rehearsal no one played Denver not knowing that he it, knowing that we were going to lose the Alex the next year, but he steps in and owes a heck of a job for us, and so we had a chance to see him, he did the same, things he did in practice, so those no look things little you know all that stuff we cite in that game, and we cite every day in practice, and we felt pretty comfortable with the move theater, Alex Smith took my homes under his swing for a year in Kansas City before he was traded to Washington, so that Mahomes scold become quarterback number one Smith, perhaps the most stand up die in the NFL knew that Mahomes would be his replacement, but still did everything heckled to help the young quarterback grow even Patrick Mahomes father Pat Mahamesa, former ML B player laminated about the positive impact that Smith had on his sir Peter King from NBC Sports shared a conversation with the elder Mahomes where Pat said my son can never repay Alex Smith for everything that he did for him. What did Alex Smith have to say about Patrick Mahomes? Well first of all he was far from surprised Smith told us nearly in the 2018 offseason when Mahomes was just beginning to heat up. I'm happy for him for them for the offense they are lighting the world on fire right now they are fun to watch obviously a ton of friends on that team including Pat and to see them doing what they're doing is crazy. But when the reporter John Keem responded to Smith's quote with not surprising, Smith answered, definitely not surprising physical tools aside which he does have a unique tool set. It's Marie processing. He processes things really well and processes things really fast. He sees things quick and he learns fast. He's not a guy you had to repair things to. He knew he saw the game well and ever felt that it was too fast for him even last year. What about Patrick's other Chiefs teammates? What was their first impression of him? Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes are basically best friends on and off of the field. The two connected right away in Mahomes has helped Kelsey become the top tight end in the NFL and he is gaining ground on perhaps becoming the best of all time.